And hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Darkfall the Journal. I am Dennis, I am Tan Staple the Paleo Gamer, and I am your host this evening. If you last remember in Darkfall, our unnamed protagonist had just finished exploring the second floor of the former station hotel, now a hotbed of supernatural activity. Um, he had spent, or they had spent a lot of time going through um, Nigel and Polly's room. Um, Nigel and Polly are the ghost hunters who were there, and had found out a lot about what was going on. We also know from George Crabtree's journal that we're going to have to defeat an entity known as the Dark Fall. But we still have clues to collect and mysteries to solve, so let's get back on our way. Alright, here we are... Yes, thank you. Here we are down on the first floor of the hotel. And we're going to do our usual. Let's just stop and take each room in a row. And we'll start with room A here, since it's already partially opened for us. Do you hear something? Yeah. Because I hear something. And there's definitely something here. All right, here's something we need to pay attention to. Remember how George Crabtree's journal talked about how there was a, um, he hid the answer to the first pus the first trial in a um, bed cover that he had Edith make for him? Well, here's the bed cover. Notice, remember it had four squares, and it there are four squares here. So we've got a green, a blue, a purple, and a brown. And obviously, this is the bed cover that he had talked about. So green, blue, purple, brown. Let's keep that in mind. There's not much else of interest in here. Someone's whistling out there. Remember, your brother mentioned in his notes that he had heard the whistler outside. But, okay, that's enough of that. That whispering was kind of getting on my nerves. Stick in room B here. Room B is kind of empty. Uh, oh, there's the thing we saw the picture of. I remember, leave me alone backwards. Um, some more of the Dark Falls symbols. And there's really nothing. Yeah. Really nothing else in this one to worry about, so... I definitely hear somebody walking around upstairs. Yeah. That's about all there is to that one. Room C. Let's see what's going on in here. Yeah. Uh... Man, the haunting noises are really getting annoying, aren't they? Well, it's said here that it's not letting me activate the goggles. That's weird. Yeah. There we go. Again, we can see the bed covers the way they used to look, but... It seems to be no mystery about them, so... Room's kind of empty. Now, remember Thomas Callum, um, Betty Penfold's boyfriend who was staying secretly in the hotel? This is the room he was in. See, he has a note that he was writing to Betty, wanting to know what's going on, but he heard someone at the door. Um, now, again, it's never clear why these two were afraid their parents would be angry with their um, arrangements with each other, their affair. Um, 
so who knows. Um, only other thing odd here is that death card turns into a joker. A lot of beer, that beer is unopened. I wonder if it's still good. Hmm, probably not. Again, there's really not much else in this room other than, you know, this is where Thomas Callum was staying and that something was at the door looking for him. Now this room... Get out of my room! Who are you and why should I get out? This room is actually Gloria Grable and I need to put air quotes around that name because obviously Gloria Grable is not her real name. Um, we have to do the... Obviously there's something it wants us to see down here. So, you found my little secret. Uh, yes we have. Obviously, if you haven't figured it out by now, Gloria Grable is the female bank robber Sly Fox. And she was hiding out here in the hotel. Uh, Matilda Fly figured that out and um, blackmailed her. That's how why Matilda Fly was thinking she was getting some money. But George Crabtree didn't care because he still wanted us, her to hide something for him. So he gave her a symbol and told her to hide the word phrenic. So all we need to know is the word phrenic, and the word phrenic goes with that symbol. So once again, we have another of the lyrics and another of the symbols. And, oh, I put that back. Now I can leave. All right. So, that doesn't seem to do anything. Let's look in this last room. And again, this room is kind of empty. It looks like they didn't have many guests staying on the first floor for some reason. Um, there's one of Nigel and Polly's cameras. And there's a thermometer here. If you look at this at different times, it will register different temperatures. If you remember, they mentioned... Um, temperature changes in one of their journals, but that's pretty much it. Down here we have a picture. This is Henry V. Um, that could have come in handy in solving that puzzle box up on the third floor. If you remember, there was one up there that had pictures of Henry VIII and Henry V. And I don't know if that's... What was that? Anyway, we could have used that up there, but we've already got that. There's a storeroom here, which just has some things to look at in it. Again, there's nothing in here that's really important to anything. And over here, there is a, another bathroom. Now, do you remember way back in, I think, the second episode of this, where I turned on the hot water heater? in the attic and then told it to send the hot water to the first floor. This is why we needed to do that. If I go to this sink here and turn on the hot water tap and then wait a few minutes for the water to show up. I'll get a cloud of steam and on the mirror I will get the word malice and another symbol. Now I can look at that again. Every time I, I do it, I have to put up with this again. So remember this symbol and the word malice. That's obviously another one of our lyrics. And that actually gets us just about everything we need at this point. Yeah, that sounded useful. Okay. This door leads out to the um, platform near where the um, survey equipment is. If you remember, I pointed that out before. Now, first floor compared to all the others is pretty easy. Now, we have one thing left to do before we leave the hotel area. We need to... And I'm going downstairs, not upstairs. Ignore the phone. 
I am not doing this right, am I? All right, upstairs. There we go. See, even I get lost. Um, remember way up in George Crabtree's room, he had that, um... Um... He had that, um... Bowl where we could, um... Figure out the symbols. Well, we now have everything we need to do this. Remember we found the other picture in the other half of the photograph was in the um, under the sink in the, the last episode. So we just need to position these things. They are wood, sandstone, bronze, and chalk. And we need to arrange them in such a way to that they will give us the um, show us the lyric that was lost. And these things are kind of finicky about the way they want you to go. I mean, there it is. And here's the missing lyric. It is that symbol, and the lyric that goes with it is... Olcus. So now we have seen the missing lyric. In fact, we have everything, every lyric at this point except one. If you've been keeping track. And actually, we do have that one. It's this way. Actually, we do have that one. Um, even though we don't actually have it written down. There's another orb. Okay. Um, remember we had the piece of paper that was on the invisible ink and it gave us a list of four people and what lyrics they had to go with their symbols. Well, we had Edith's at that point. Now, Edith, we, um, we haven't, yeah. We don't know hers, but we, you know, know where it came from. Or know what hers has to be, even though we don't actually know what the lyric is yet. But we'll go ahead and get it correctly anyway. Now, there's another door out. This. Oops, did you see that? There was a little silhouette there in the. for a second. So I can't move the light off. There, did you see that? There's a silhouette of someone in there. Huh. Men's room doesn't have anything quite here in the bathroom, really. Set in stone, stone Medusa, blind Medusa, useless frozen arms. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Yeah, we can turn the light off. We can't do anything while the lights are off. So, all right. Let's go hang out in the bar for a while. That sounds like a good idea, don't you think? No, oh, the bar is locked. Fortunately, we have the key. And now we're inside the bar. Another here. See one of many. One too many. Taima. Tick tock. Tick tock. Taima. Remember that was the word that was written next to um, Betty's um, or Betty's name in the um, in the um, invisible ink paper. Now we can't do anything here. Or can we? I guess it wants me to do all these, but doesn't let me play anything else. Um, anyway, remember the G G A B C. G G A B C. That was 
there's Betty's symbol and Taima. We saw it written on the wall next to us and we saw it on the piece of invisible ink, on the invisible ink paper. So we now have all 12 lyrics. This is just the Ballad of Tom Oliver. If you remember, he's the first victim of the Dark Fall, the first person who finished. Ooh, they have beer on draft. How cruel. I can't get the beer. All right. Yeah, this was the last thing that was going to be going on. They were going to play music that night. Yeah. Another here? Good evening. Have not seen George about, have you? I'll have a bottle of wine while I wait. I have some fantastic news. I must share it with someone. Yeah, I wonder what that was. Betty's playing well tonight. Marvellous. Yeah, this is just going to go on for a while. paid off. I think we're for quite a night, don't you think? This is just going to go on for a while, so I'm just going to go on and move away from it. <sighs> Should we answer the phone? back here and go into the kitchen. Now there's again a lot of stuff here. There's a complaint book here. Drawing of Edith by Arthur. 100 ways to cook tripe. Oh that sounds delicious. Actually, no, strike that, reverse it. Um, All right. Up here, there is a little note that basically says that they that they're tired of you know burn the last few pages of the complaint book. I don't want to be reminded of that cow. And who knows the, who they're talking about? But here's an idea: if you're going to burn something in a kitchen. Where would you burn it? And this is just a recipe. Well, you're in a kitchen, you have a stove. Now the stove has drawers underneath it because it's an old wood burning stove. There was a complaint on table one for that woman from London who was complaining. And she has a table with a problem with the table. She said there was a draft from the big doors, so I moved her down to table three, but there was a problem with the lamp. It was flickering. So she's back at table one. So table one is near the doors, and table three has a flickering lamp. And over here, they're still not happy with table one. So they had to ask Mr. Varney to move from table four and put this person there. So, and now she has a problem with the train noise. So, they're complaining about Gloria Grable. And what this does is this is going to let us help figure out where some of these tables are. Now then, if you remember the picture we saw up in one of the second floor rooms, there was a picture of table two, and there was a receipt for table two there. This is table two. See, it has this symbol on it, or that pattern on it. Now, the person who is complaining, we don't have any, there, everything but table three is labeled, nothing else is. The person who is complaining was complaining about table three. So, if we go over here, there is a table near the door. And it's got one of Holly and Nigel's cameras on it. So this is near the door, and since table two is just to our right there, let's assume this is table one. Okay. 
which means this is probably table 5. Remember that pattern. And got me stuck here now. There we go. Have to go in the right direction. Okay. This is table three. We know it's table three because it's got the number three on it. So one, two, three, that makes sense. So this should be four. So it looks like we have everything taken care of now. So, why exactly do you want to see me? Your note was, how can I put it, quite cryptic, Miss Fly. I'm not the only one who reads those filthy newspapers, you know. Someone else will notice. Notice what? Your little secret, my dear. You have been busy, haven't you? More wine? I take it you want some sort of deal. A cut, as it were. And I would want a guarantee in return. I knew we could work this out. Pour away, Miss Fly. So, yeah. Gloria Grable and Matilda Fly worked out a deal to keep her secret. Of how she was, you know, the Sly Fox, the bank robber. Can't get out those doors right now. But anyway, remember the patterns from those various door tables. We'll need those in a minute. Look at my kitchen, it's filthy. Frank would be ashamed. Um, yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, we actually at this point have everything we're going to need. It is time to go to get to the bottom of this and get rid of the dark fall once and for all. There's a hidden door right here. It's a little hard to see, but there's a hidden door under the steps. This leads us down into the cellar. Now we need to do a couple of things here. First off, there's an axe. Why is there an axe down here? Why can't I carry an axe? Okay, there's a door. It's locked. Can't get into it. The way we get into it is right here. Now, notice these symbols. You may recognize these symbols as the same as the ones from the um, hotel, from the um, tables in the dining room. Well, we need to click these in order for tables 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which means we need to do this way. 3, 2, um, there. Um, here and here. Okay, you heard that? That means we've just opened this door. We are now in George Crabtree's dark room. Now, it's kind of interesting because um, it looks like Nigel and Polly have been in here. So they figured out what we just did. See, Nigel's been in here. He found in the dark room. He took the pictures. He developed some pictures that um, George Crabtree had done. The negatives are 35 millimeter film, a new product in the UK in 1947. He must have been loaded or mad. Well, we'll take what you can get there. Okay, but we can look at the different pictures. Hmm. There's one of their cameras. And basically where he was developing the stuff. Basically this is just some more of his old, you know, where Nigel has been in here is all we really need to know. Now the main thing we actually need to get from this room is over here. There is this odd metal object in here. We need to pick that up. And if you notice, it's our last missing inventory item. So now we have everything we need. Yeah. Oh, again? Yeah, you may recognize that as um, one of my... Hey, hey, you will, Thomas. Where 
have you been? Why are you looking at me like that? It feels late. Too late, maybe. You better leave now. Uh, maybe we'll just go. Alright. This is the Fermi scanner, scanner, the thing that we entered the numbers for on the computer upstairs. Um, the fact that it detected the hollow in the wall is what lets us move that aside. If we had not entered those numbers, we couldn't interact with that at all. And it's dark, so of course we could use the lantern. And you notice over here, 1318. We saw that in some of George Crabtree's notes. This is the old, ancient part of the hotel from even before the British Civil War. There's something here we can do. We have to use the new item we just found. Okay, are we ready for this? Let's go. Alright, we are well away from where we should be at this point. This is obviously the old temple where the Celtic Britons had somehow um, entrapped the Dark Hall. And we're going to have to do that ourselves. So let's... Okay. Notice we're trapped here by this. This is the first of the trials. Now remember, the first trial is the secret is hidden in a blanket. And the blanket we had, you know, the colors. And they were green, blue, purple, and reddish brown. So let's click these in that order from that blanket. So we'll go green, blue, purple, and reddish brown. So there, we have just passed the first trial. We can go forward, but when we try to go forward again, again we have a problem. Now, these will make noises. See, that sounds like the ocean. That sounds like wind. Now remember we looked at the kinescope that had the elements on it, and it had fire, lightning, the sky, which would be wind, and the ocean, which is that last sound. Now we have to click these in the same order they appeared. Now the first one was fire, the second one was lightning, or thunder, the third one was wind, which we just heard. And the last one was water. And again, we have passed the second trial. And, you know, we can look at things here. I mean, but there's... Let's throw everything through it. So, so let's go forward again. Now here we have something on the floor here. Somebody else's lantern. Yeah. And another book. This is George's last journal. Basically, he says he's come down here, there are trapped souls down here, he's practiced reading the symbols over and over again, and, you know, basically he's concerned. You know, it's trying to take over him, he's talking about how the Dark Fall has been trapped here for all these years, and He's trying to, I can see the dark ball, I can see it, no longer hidden, now I hear it. Like those who've gone before me, I can go and read the lyrics, I can end this now, no more shall it suffer, the feeding is over. Well, maybe not. Now you heard that little whistling noise there. If you look here on the wall, there is a symbol of somebody fighting, and there's a spot right here I can click on.
and you notice it made some sounds. If I try to go forward, this appears. And if I click on these things, it's making the same sort of sounds that this thing on the wall just did. I have to recreate that set of sounds. Now, you can play with this all you like. It actually is... That. All right. So now we're ready to go. Ready for this? Now, notice that the word say is down here at the bottom. Now, honestly, that has been there a couple of times before, and I've always kind of ignored it. Um, you could have talked to a couple of entities before, but it's hard to say you're, you're out what you need to say or do. Anyway, all we have to do now is enter the 12 lyrics in the correct order. Remember, the game doesn't remember this for you. You have to remember them yourselves, but we know them. They're in the order from the monolith, and they are Lusa. And then you have to click that. Cars. Oliviac. Frenic. Morcana. Morcana. Taima. Taima. Malice. Malice. Marsus. Marsus. Mortem. Ixium. It's I am fine, your way. And finally, Raka. Well, that did something. Obviously, it was a load-bearing boss. And now, in theory, the Dark Fall is gone. Good evening. And all the souls that were trapped have now been released. You did it. I knew you could. I can go home now. Well, you know what I mean. My dad is dead and buried. Perhaps he'll be waiting for me. With my mum as well. You stopped the dark fall spreading. It's trapped again, where it belongs. You might as well leave too. There's nothing here for you now. Time you had a rest, I think. One last thing, though. Things don't have to turn out as they did. You'll find out what I mean soon. Bye. Okay, how do I... Well, I guess that's how I get out of here. Message. One. Hello, it's me. Your brother. I've got something important to tell you. Well, I'll have to tell you now. I've... completely forgotten. Well, it can't have been that important after all. Oh, well, I'm going to be back in a couple of days anyway. The station and hotel redevelopment for the Crabtree Estate's gone, well, better than planned. No surprises. 
When I get back, I think I owe you a drink or two. Haven't seen you for a while. Been neglecting you. Okay, I'll see you when I get back. Bye. And so it appears that by sealing the dark fall again, we actually changed history. It looks like there was never a dark fall there at all. Everything is the way it should have been. It's all gone. And once again, we have saved the world. So anyway, that is it. That is Dark Fall the Journal. There's actually two more Dark Falls I, games. I will probably get to them at some point. In the meantime, this is Dennis. This is Tan Staffel the Paleo Gamer. And I will leave you here with the credits. And we will see you next time.